We're live. Hello. Are we here? OBS just had a tiny hiccup. Don't know what happened there. Or like my connection, I suppose. I don't know. But yeah. So. Anyway. Sun is setting. We were gonna build our bridge. So five across. This bridge is gonna be so annoying to build. I can tell you right now. Yeah, I don't know, like, my... All of a sudden I was having like zero frames in OBS and then OBS said like it disconnected. But we're back. Yeah. That seemed more of an OBS problem than an internet connection problem. That could be it. Also notably, when I got this laptop, I did not get it with the intention of using it to stream. Same with my PC back home. Both like, both of my main computers I got before I even decided I was going to stream, so they're not exactly spec'd out for that. But hopefully it's not an issue. Bridge is almost complete. There's our bridge. Let's fill in right here. Cool. Now the question is, is this symmetrical enough? Also, do we want to keep the island being as round? Like, do we want to keep this shape for the island or should we change it a little bit? I will say this is kind of bothering me, so we will flatten that out. Yeah, so here's the problem. It's not super symmetrical. But I feel like it's going to take a lot of effort to get it to be- Oh shit, knocked over my whole water bottle. I feel like it's going to take a lot of effort to make it symmetrical. So we probably don't care, at least not a whole lot. But yeah, now we've got our island for our house. Uh, what now? Next would be to build the foundation. But I'm kind of not so much in a building mood anymore. I want to do some mining. We've got like the basis for this is where we will build our house. Also place your bets now if I ever go back to go start building my house again. Because there is a probability that I will just forget. 
or never be in the mood or whatever. So, but what we're gonna do instead, I was heading over to the crafting table for something. What was it? Uh, thank you, stream elements. Yeah, uh... Powder coal, some wood, damn. I should build a chest. That's something that I should build. So here's our chest. Where we will hide a bunch of our stuff. And by hide, I mean it's not really hidden because everyone knows where it is. Uh, so we're going to just place a chest here and stick inside our planks. This amethyst cluster, I have no idea how I got that. Our coal. Also our flowers that Feli gave us. Our little presents. Uh, sugar cane, we'll just store that. Is there anything else I should store? I don't think so, I think we're good. I also want a sign so I can indicate that this is Haru's... Uh oh, it's nighttime. Uh, I can go find a bed. Real quick. Oh, never mind. Okay. So, yes. Uh... What was I doing? I was doing something. Does anyone remember? Did I mention what I was doing? Sign! I need a sign. That's it. I need a sign. Uh... Yeah. Did I store my sticks? Or did I have no more sticks? I can't remember. Sticks. Okay, no. But we do have our planks, and we will need the planks to build the sign. Let's head back over here then to... this? Come on, sprint. There you go. Okay, so we need some sticks. And maybe... There we go. Ian's just being cute in chat, like usual. There's a the sign. Now what? Uh, where should we put the sign? Should we put it before or after the bridge? I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do it like on the bridge right here. What should the sign say? It should say something like, uh... Haru's house? That sounds boring. Any ideas in chat? What we should name our sign? Thinking like... Haru Hut. Hayes' place. My... I think of Haru's Haven, but that is, like, a very bad, like, description of this place. It's not gonna be a haven at all. It's gonna be, like, a little homeless shelter shack. Um... 
Yeah, we're gonna go with Haru Hut. Uh oh wait. Uh how how do I go back up and edit? Backspace. Nope. There we go. Up arrow. Fort Hayes. Ooh. Uh yeah. Welcome. Shit. Can I edit it? No. How do I do space? Wait, what? No. What 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 did I just do? Welcome to Yeah, I have no idea what I just did. Uh welcome to uh what did I say? Haru's We're gonna do Haru's hut. And then how many lines do I have? Four lines. Uh What should we do with our other two lines? Uh, I'm thinking... Do this. No, not that. Not that. Do this. And then... Perfect. Uh, then over here we need another sign. This sign can just be straight up under construction. Actually, here, here's how we want to do it. Okay. Delete those. Warning. No, caution. That's, that's what they say. Caution. Under. Construction. And then a bunch of exclamation points so it like catches your attention. Caution on her construct. Cool. So now no one's gonna walk in here without a war cap. Now what? Uh... Yeah, I kind of want to shape up the foundation a little bit. Uh, so let's take away you. This looks fine. We'll get rid of you. Don't really want you. I guess we can keep you. Honestly, I want another line of dirt right here. Maybe. Probably okay. Now we don't need this. So that can go away. Now what? Now we need our wood. I said I was gonna do some mining, didn't I? And then I went back to building the house. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, I 
this is gonna be a little bit tedious. But I do want to like kind of place the wood exactly where the dirt is. And so that means I'm gonna have to basically keep scrolling between the shovel and yeah, this is gonna be hella tedious. Also, we definitely don't have enough wood. Alright, Minra. Have a good lurk, and thank you so much for joining, and just everything you did with the server is amazing. And thanks for hanging out. I will do your hydrate. And posture check. Thank you for the follow. T is so good. If I said that correct. No, I don't think that. I'll be honest, that sounds like a bot name, but. I don't know, I don't want to assume. I do need to get to bed soon because it is getting to be nighttime. Alright, let's get to bed. Hello, Lazy June. Get to bed. I can't see shit. I need some porches. Just to kind of light up the area. That is not my porch. That works. to the flaming zombies. Ouch. Oh yeah, we should torch up our island. And, like the bridge. Uh, so yeah, let's just like put a few torches here. This is a very good idea. There we go, and let's just do like one here. Alright, back to what we were doing before. The tedious stuff. Alright, place your bets. What's gonna happen first? We're either gonna need a new shovel, or we're gonna need to get more wood. Because those are both limiting factors here.
go. Looks like a close race. Got some real intense gameplay going on here. Ooh, I'm thinking it's gonna be the shovel. The shovel doesn't have much lifespan left. Ooh, but we only have a few blocks of wood left too. Gonna be a very close one. Watch them be like exactly. And it was wood. Whoever placed your bet on wood wins. I don't know what you win. Probably a hug. So we need another shovel, because we are definitely going to need another shovel. And we need more wood. Uh, did I have more wood in the chest or should I chop some? Come on. Finish your potato. There we go. That doesn't count. Two wood isn't enough. Okay, we need a lot more wood then. It is the eternal Minecraft rule. You never have enough wood. If you think you have enough wood, no you don't. Oh, right, these are spruce. I, I've been replacing these with spruce. I need oak. Posture check. Ellie, yeah, sitting at the Kotatsu is not easy for streaming. Um, all right. Do I have any oak saplings? I feel like I should have collected some at this point. Got spruce. I do not see any oak. There's the ominous donut. And more chopping. Riveting gameplay. Come on. Give me an oak sapling, please. I, I just want to replant the trees. Trees are the bee's knees, as they say. That is a very common saying. I don't know what you're talking about. That was just like how people greeted each other in like the 1980s or something. They just said to each other, trees are the bee's knees, and he just knew Japan what the other person was talking about. Any more saplings? All of them. Mind, just every, every language had that, you know, you could just basically translate that, and, you know, like... You won't find this in the history books because everyone back then just thought it was completely common knowledge that just everyone said that. And it just like slowly fell out of the lexicon and got replaced with like words like pog and uh, ye and whippersnapper, you know, common phrases.
Aeolus with the raid. Hello, Aeolus. Really, Jeremy? You're giving me disadvantage on that. I don't know. I think it sounds pretty reasonable. I don't know who I wouldn't... I, I don't know who wouldn't believe that. You know what will take away the disadvantage? It's the fact that I studied history. Yes, there is a shout out command. Uh, it's just S-O and then the person's name. You have a master's degree, woohoo, but what is it in, huh? If it's not in history, it doesn't count. Okay, uh, let's do... back to shuffling. Back to the old tediums. Actually, let's... And there goes the shovel. Fair, Jeremy. I cannot argue with that. Yeah! It's good to see you, Aeolus. is a strong word. Uh, man, a, a human-made structure. A person is building a thing. And the intention is for other people, or rather the person building the structure, to live inside of it. Turn home, or rather, eh, what the hell? Ian's house is my home. We do be vibing. And that is not just, like, in Minecraft. I, myself, am forming the hunger. I'll probably get something to eat right after stream. Let's snack on a potato. And another potato. Okay, it's starting to shape up. What 
was that? Was that my mouse being weird? Or was that like an actual earthquake in game? Did what well, what was the most recent patch? Was it 1.18? Did that add earthquakes? No, not 1.18. Uh, it's yeah, 1.18. Point one, right? I know my Minecraft. That's not where I want you to go. Come back. I wonder what I'm gonna eat. Actually, uh, so yesterday for lunch at work, so what was it? Uh, the night before on Thursday, I went out shopping to get the mouse pad that I'm currently using. And I found, uh, well, basically, I figured I should, like, pick up something to eat at lunch at work. And, uh, so I'm like, well, what about a cup of ramen? No, I don't have any booba mouse pads, but I do have a, you know, just regular typical mouse pad that has wrist support because that's what I really needed was wrist support. Um, and yeah, so I I basically figured, you know, while I'm here I might as well buy something for lunch. And so I uh, found I, I figured, you know, cup ramen because that's like nice and easy you know, it's cheap it's an entire meal in like a cup and all you have to do is add hot water and then you're ready to eat it. So, you know, that's why I decided to have for my dinner, I mean my lunch, and the plate, so the cup ramen that I ended up getting was, I don't know if any of you have had the curry ramen like the um it's like yellowish y you know the cup is yellowish and it says curry on it like you've most likely at least seen pictures of it it's pretty common i don't know if i've ever actually eaten it before but i got it and tried it and it was very good. Like, that curry ramen is... It just hit the spot. Also, speaking of curry, I wonder when the next time I'm gonna make curry is... Because I have the ingredients for it, and I want to, like make the curry before the ingredients go bad but at the same time it's just like a lot of work to make that curry and like it, it was a little bit annoying to have to clean the pot afterwards the pot was very not cooperative with getting clean uh let's see what next i need more wood more wood. That's like probably my biggest uh, barrier for me actually cooking for myself. It's not so much the I don't 
had the ability to or the like motivation to necessarily it's mostly just oh i don't want to have to clean this pot after i'm done or this pan that's just very it's just tedious I can't see shit. I'm gonna stick down a torch. And I still can't see shit. Hello? Where's the sun going? Is that why I can't see anything? I'm gonna turn up the brightness. Um, video. How do you turn up brightness? There it is. Just a little bit more. Let's, let's have it at 60. Okay, there's definitely like a tree here somewhere. Where's where is that tree? Tree. Uh, there we go. I don't know if this is the tree though. I need more oak. Still no oak saplings. Where can I get oak saplings? Oh, what's over here? A pit? Uh, it's more like a creeper hole. Well, there's plenty of oak around here, I guess, so we're fine. Although it is kind of dark. Uh, is that because it's like... Where is the sun right now? Where is the sun? Ooh, an apple. Love me a good apple. Oh, here's another tree. And that's the wood axe gone. Okay. Uh, I did not craft a stone axe. I was, past me was dumb. Past me decided I don't need a stone axe. Who needs a stone axe? Stone axes are silly. And now here I am suffering the consequences of my axe. Or rather, laziness, I should say. Indecision. Indecision? No, it was very much a decision. It's just a bad decision. Okay, that's probably fine. Sun is still fine where it is. I'm not too worried. Meh. <laughs> I too can speak. Ouch. I too can speak sheep. Well, I don't know what this song is, but it is. I I enjoy. That music do be good. Okay. Uh, one sec, I might be able to sneeze. That was a sneeze. <laughs> All right, now back to uh, I want. I really want to chop down this entire tree. I really want to, but ugh, that's just work. Also, the sun is setting. I need to head back home. I've been playing Magic. 
I got back into magic because I now have Wi-Fi and therefore can play online games. And... You know, Arena still exists. A lot has changed since I last played a few months ago. Um, main, like, mainly there's two sets that came out. Uh, number one is the, well, it's more like one and a half sets, right? Because first we have Crimson Vow, which I'll be honest, I only know like a very small fraction of those cards. I didn't actually look at the spoilers for that set, which is what I usually do when a new set comes out. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so there's Crimson Vow that came out, and then there's Alchemy. And if you don't know what Alchemy is, uh, it's a new format where basically Wizards of the Coast is like, hey, Arena's digital only, right? We have a few formats where we could do some basically well no we we now have the space to do something digitally that can only be done digitally and that is constantly changing the balance of the game so like i think they say it's every week or something uh basically well they first of all they added some new cards into the game that use mechanics that only work in the digital world uh so like mechanics like Seek, and uh, Conjure, and Perpetual. Those are like free mechanics that only work in the digital world. They would be held to do in paper. So they've added a bunch more cards with those abilities, but also they're like every single week in the alchemy format they basically change what the uh they basically change how the game like the balance of the cards so like if one card is like super dominating the format or something because it's too powerful they can slightly change the balance by like change its power and toughness or make it cost more cost less uh stuff like that um Conjure, basically, so you you know what tokens are, right, Pelly? Like, they're just creatures that exist, but when they leave the battlefield, they cease to exist. Conjure makes a card kind of the same way you would make a token, except the card still exists no matter where it is. So, yeah, that's kind of what a uh, conjure is like. So, let's say an example would be if you could conjure Black Lotus, and there is in fact a card that lets you conjure Black Lotus. Uh, it's like you conjure Black Lotus, so you make a copy of Black Lotus and put that into your hand, and then you play it and can use it exactly as you would a normal Black Lotus, and even when it leaves the battlefield, you can still, like, it still exists. So it's like you took a copy of a card from outside the game and added it to your deck during the game. That's what Conjure is like. The other thing uh, you asked about, Seek. Seek is like searching so you know how like you search your library for a card and put it into your hand or into play or whatever it's like that but it's randomized so instead of you like so instead of you like searching through your entire deck and picking out the card that you want and sticking it into your hand you could say like for example, there's a card, I think, that says, like, seek a card from your library with CMC2, or mana cost 2. So, 
it gives you a random card from your library that has the mana cost 2 and puts it in your hand. And yeah, both of those mechanics can't really work very well on paper for obvious reasons. So they're only on digital. What did I just throw? My axe in the back. So I'm... I very much like Seek as a mechanic because it's like drawing a card but it's a little different and it's randomized and I like RNG. RNG is fun. Okay, did I completely finish off this tree? I think I did. The leaves are starting to disappear. And then Perpetually, I don't know if you know what Perpetually does, even if you do, I'm gonna describe that because I described the other two mechanics, uh, is basically if you give a card Perpetually something, that means that modification to that card remains for the entire duration of the game, no matter what zone it's in. So normally, we would have like you know, a plus one plus one counter means that a creature that would normally be a 1-1 one, one is now a 2-2. Two, two. But when it leaves the battlefield, then in any other zone, it's still just a 1-1. One, one. But in... But if you give something perpetually plus one plus one, then it's now a 2-2 two, two for the rest of the game. No matter what zone it's in, if it dies and goes to the graveyard and you somehow bring it back, it's still a 2-2. Two, two. Or if it gets shuffled into your deck, bounced back to your hand, whatever, it's still a 2-2. Two, two. So that's how it perpetually works. And another thing that would be very hellish to make work in, like, paper magic. Anyway, Uh, we are going to head back to base, or head back home. Ian's house. Where we shall... Just kinda drop our spawn one last time. And then, I think that's about where we're gonna call the stream. Close all these. There we go. Alright. So, that's a good place to call it. Uh, I've been going for three hours now. And that's usually where I end off my streams. So, thank you all so much for joining me. It is great to be back streaming. I am really happy about that. Uh, a few things to do, uh, tomorrow I'm going to start a new stream series, it's going to be Fallout New Vegas, and, uh, uh when am I gonna stream that? Maybe, like, I don't know, maybe I could aim for... 8, or like maybe I could aim for waking up at 9 so it could be another early morning stream, or maybe I'll do it during midday, who knows. Uh, follow my Twitter to keep updated on that because I don't really know what I plan to do. Um, but yeah, uh, we've got that to look forward to. And then, let's see, yeah, so Fallout New Vegas tomorrow, I'll make a decision later today on when I'm gonna stream it. Uh, other things, 
uh, it's just good to be back. This is also the very first stream of, like, in Haru history of me streaming in a kotatsu and also wearing a choker. I've been wearing one of my chokers this entire stream, and I have not owned a choker since I went on hiatus. So, or since before I went on hiatus, I should say. So, yeah. It's great to see everyone back. It's great to be back. I'm happy to be streaming again. And I'm going to look for someone to raid. I think we're probably gonna raid Raylene. She is doing her subathon to raise money so that she can start HRT and like go to a therapist for hormone treatment and stuff like that. So if you have any money to spare, uh, absolutely help her out. Um, and Uh, yeah, she's also playing Pokemon Arceus, the new game that just came out, and so have fun with that. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Oh, hang on. Kelly says, can you say it in Japanese before? Skeetus.